What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on part seven and the final video in our series of how do I personally clean my dive gear after a series of dives or after every dive. And in today's video, we are, of course, going to be looking at dive accessories and how do I personally clean these accessories. Now, to get started, once again, I've got my Pelican Air 1615. It's just full of water. I've got about two ounces of the Pow Plow in it. Once again, I don't think I have to talk too much about this product. Once you get it, you'll understand just how good it is. And I've got a slew of accessories here. Now, the accessories that I've got is my SMB reel and uh, combo system here. I'm just going to simply set it down in the water. I've got a set of shears that usually get pre-washed because it's already mounted to my uh, VCD. I've got my teaching slates here, so I'm going to set them down in the water. And then, of course, i got a flashlight. Now, there's a couple things to think about when you do a flashlight. Some people will say turn them on, that way it's sealed and you don't have to worry about it. But this is my backup light, so I, I rarely leave it on when I'm diving, so I'm actually gonna turn it off. Now, I don't mind leaving it turned off. It's not gonna break the seal. This one has multiple O-rings in the twist head there. So I'm just gonna set it in there. And like I said, I'm not that concerned about it because it stays turned off when it's clipped off to a BC until I need it. So once again, I'm just gonna set everything in there, let it rest. About 10 to 15 minutes, I kind of do this with all the other equipment. I put it in all at once, let it rest. I'm gonna pull out the flashlight, of course. Just take my toothbrush, scrub it around. Once everything is good to go and it's dried, then I'm gonna take the head off and I'm gonna take the battery out. I do not leave batteries in my flashlights unless I'm using them every single day or unless I'm actually on the dive. If I'm gonna be letting it set for a while, I'm gonna leave the battery out of there. You don't want any moisture from condensation or anything else getting in there and corroding that out. As far as my slates go, they're done, it's pretty much. Now these are my teaching slates. I know a couple of you have asked in the past, how do you clean the slates? I just use a magic eraser, it's very simple. It's, it's a, an abrasive system that's actually not that abrasive, but it'll actually go in and clean out the slates really good. So I just get them wet, use a magic eraser, let them dry. These guys right here stay wet seven days a week because I teach seven days a week, it's pretty simple. As far as my shears go, I don't even dry them off, I just pull them out. I reinstall them on the system wherever they go. Now my SMB, I am going to do something slightly different on. I am going to go ahead and pull the reel out of this one. Most of my reels are pre-attached, if not all my reels are pre-attached to it. But I want to make sure that I get all the grime, especially here in our lake, I get all the grime and silt and all that out of the line. If it looks pretty, it's clean. If it don't, do a little bit of cleaning. If you need to ever undo your spool, undo it. Just undo it. If you want to add line, you can. If you want to take line off, you can. But I would undo it every now and then just to make sure all the, the dirt and the grime's out of there. Now I'm going to actually open the SMB up as well. And there's two reasons I want to do this. One, depending on what type of environment I was in, I want to make sure everything gets good and clean. Plus, this allows me time to do a good, healthy inspection of the SMB to see if there's any holes in it. And the simplest way to do that is to inflate it up. Now you don't have to do a complete inflation on it, but all I'm gonna do is kind of push down and I'm gonna look to see if there's any in bubbles. So during the cleaning process, I'm also testing the SMB to see if there's any leaks. If there's no leaks in there, then of course I'm going to leave it inflated until it dries. Once it dries, then I'm gonna simply roll it back up and store it either on the BC or store it in my gear bag or something like that. But that's it for my accessories. I do the kind of the same thing with cameras. I'm gonna soak them in here. I'm gonna scrub around all the uh, door panels and all that, scrub around the lens really good, make sure it's clean. And I'm simply gonna let it dry and I'm gonna store it in a cool, dry environment. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this entire series, not just this video, but this entire series of how I personally clean my dive gear. I hope it gave you some pointers in the future on what you can do to help prolong your equipment as well. Like I said, check out the SSI Equipment Techniques course because it's really gonna go into depth of how we clean it, how we store it, and how we prolong the life of our dive gear. Remember, if you take good care of your dive gear, it will take good care of you when you're underwater. But guys, if you did like this video or this entire series, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions, put it down in the comment section below and we will try to answer your questions as quickly as we can and as best as we can. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.